Lovely, so I've um, sent an email to a few of you because I know we've got very uh, short time and I'm really here to give you a taste of what Wikimedia Australia does on behalf of Wikipedia, the global movement. And um, our aim as part of Wikipedia and the related projects is um, to promote participation, equality of opportunity to access and participate in collaborative creation of free cultural works in Australia. So that's our very long aim. And there's some, a lot of words there that I hope will resonate with you. So cultural works, um, we're particularly about freedom and access um, and participation by the people um, that are most affected and um, most benefit from this content. And you've got the fantastic content out there for Australia and our regions. Uh, so I'm Prue Mitchell, I'm currently the president of Wikimedia Australia and been involved for a few years. Uh, Lee Blackhall uh, is a part of our movement, has been for a long time. We both have day jobs, my day job's a librarian um, here on holidays enjoying Geelong and uh, Lee is an instructional designer uh, working at RMIT hence the access that we're very lucky to have uh, to people from there. Um, there's that aim, you can look at it uh, in more detail and you'll find it wherever you see things about Wikipedia. Um, you'll also see uh, this which was really the original goal. Is there anyone here who can't identify or uh, resonate with that as a goal? Most people find it you know, a very uh, worthy but a fairly unattainable goal and but we really do work to that. That is what we, you know, really what we, we're aiming for. The sum of all knowledge and every human being. So that means every language because we know a lot of the world doesn't speak English. Uh, at the moment around 299 different Wikipedias in different languages. Uh, including very proudly uh, Noongapedia, the first uh, indigenous language um, encyclopedia from Australia, from Western Australia. Every topic, so whether it's Pokemon, which is the one that people usually, you know, any popular television show or popular culture item that will be there, um, we have over 2,000 pages identified as re indigenous related, so that's something, I suppose, but a very small fraction of what we would like. And you know from that survey you did uh, what kind of presence your region or your organisations have uh, in the wiki sphere. So I just put that out as a challenge. We would love to work with you to improve that if you thought there were things that could be improved. Uh, when we say all, we mean even those without the internet. So uh, things whereby we do offline versions of the encyclopedia. Uh, for me, as a teacher, um, f educational material is a really important and a big part of what I'm after. So um, that, that is a goal shared by many. So getting things open and free. Creative Commons is our friend in this and our very strong partner. Uh, everything we publish is openly available and accessible to everybody. What we ask for is um, attribution. I'm not here to convert you or can, to say you must make all of your um, content available in Creative Commons licensing, but I believe that. <laughs> it's up to you. If your KPIs um, involve uh, things like uh, eyeballs, like lots of people seeing your stuff, uh, democratisation of content, access, any of those downloads, then um, these things that might be helpful to you in a grant application, for instance, uh, can be greatly enhanced by use of open licences. One other, um, so just a little anecdote, I went looking for a photograph to customise this PowerPoint. I knew I was coming to the Geelong Library and Heritage Centre, so I went online to find an image because you'll all be much more focused on the image than on the text. Uh, there, were, there was really one image published in the whole of the internet 
that, was, that I could use for this PowerPoint. And that was this one, so a big thanks to Edward Blake, who in 2015 got that fantastic photo, put it on Flickr as open access, and we were able to then use it um, in Wikimedia Commons. So if you upload a, a photograph, lots of people will be able to use it. Um, and I'll, I would say it's a bit ironic because a lot of the use of that photograph has been in architectural um, websites who won't release any of their material under an open access license, so interesting thing. But we are very strong on copyright, so we will not allow anything up there that isn't cleared for copyright, which is why we say we need you to upload your own photograph. And thank you, there's quite a few of you have done that today, or yesterday, which was great. The other thing to say, we're proudly not for profit and we're neutral. So as much as anyone can be neutral, we really aim to put all sides of any debate and we don't like adjectives very much, we like facts a lot and we like facts that have a reference. Uh, volunteer donor funded, all the servers, everything um, are thanks to people like you and to some corporations who also provide, and philanthropics that provide um, uh, donations. No ads, never any ads. So that's another part. The other thing that some people uh, find difficult is we accept and value expertise from anyone. So we're not out there looking at the experts, we're looking at anyone who will do the work and volunteer their time and effort. So what are all these projects that we promote participation for? Um, I think you'll recognise a few of those. The top left one is the encyclopaedia, that's the really huge one. Currently running at, I think I just checked it, the stats page is about five and a half million articles in the English Wikipedia and as I said there's all those other ones. The important one for the glam sector is Wikimedia Commons which is uh, the one just down towards the bottom. That's all the media. So um, images, video, sound, um, infographics, that kind of thing. And as of this week, 3D images. I should have had one up there to show you. A lot of you, I would say, could be looking at Wiki, Wiki Voyage. So that's about travel. So if you've got a, a physical location that you'd like people to visit, um, great to, or um, on behalf of your community to list the things that they could do when they visit your town. Because a lot of empty bits in there and one town, one poor town where it said it looks like a ghost town or something which is you know not really what you want <laughs> visitors from. You know I think somebody mentioned yesterday you know where do people go to plan their travel? They plan it online. Um, there is maybe some data nerds here, Wikidata, Wikidata there uh, is all the uh, statistics, the data um, behind lots of things. The great example for that one is when the census, the next census results come out, no volunteer wants to be tasked with going back and manually changing the population in every town, in every country, in every area of Australia. If we have it in a database and we feed from that database into the articles, whether they're the French Wikipedia or the German, the population is the same for that town. So that's the kind of work we're doing in the background to be smart. And it's that kind of data and information that you'll find coming through into your uh, web searches. So on the right hand side, when you do a search, you often find a knowledge box. And in there, it might have the population, it might say what the role of the person is that you're looking up. A lot of that data, most of it, is coming from Wikipedia. So even though you may not visit Wikipedia, you're still getting the value of that information. If you have original out of copyright material, you can upload it to Wikisource. So that's for source documents, which aren't allowed in Wikipedia. Wikipedia is an encyclopedia, a tertiary source. And finally, if you're a software person, um, you can use the open source media wiki platform as your collections platform. Um, it supports Wikipedia which is, uh, and Wiki Commons, which are the largest um, encyclopedias in the world, so they will support your organisation if you have somebody who is knowledgeable about that um, software. Um, why would you put stuff on Wikipedia. We spoke yesterday about the goal of getting stuff digitised to increase accessibility, you know, that getting stuff into Trove as a big goal. 
Well, Wikipedia pushes that visibility and accessibility to the nth degree. So you know from your own searches, Wikipedia articles come in the top search results in all your search engines. Uh, as of last night, we were the sixth most accessed website in Australia. Anyone want to guess what the others were? Google, Google Australia. Next one's YouTube, which is interesting as a search engine. Um, uh, Reddit, or oh, Facebook, you said, yeah, that's right, and Re uh, Reddit was the other one. Um, and we're the fifth highest globally. So just for perspective, do you know what Trove is in Australia? No. 477, okay, so that's the 400, which is pretty good for a library, you know, free website. We can work with you to move um, readers back to your information. So I need to speed up, I'm sorry about that. Um, so I asked you in the survey what you wanted to know. Here are some of the things that people asked for. Um, so basically, you know, how can you use it? I hope you've worked out from what I said before that's given you some ideas and jot those down and talk about them at your next meeting. Thanks, we've just got uh, some more information in about the Colac uh, War Memorial, which wasn't there. So Merrill has uh, got started on that. And even though Wikipedia is huge and global, we can also get interested in things at the local level because it's digital publication and um, there's obviously a local story behind this as well Cheryl I don't think we've got time to go through it but thank you for that that photograph I think one thing you can do is all look at gaps in the Wikipedia articles um, about your area and um, look at what students are studying in your region all the primary school curriculum is about me, my community, my family, so they'll be out there looking for things. Start small at your own pace. These are the kinds of things that you can do, even just categorising things. You're great at metadata and describing things. Get in there and make sure all the photos of your region can be found through one search. Um, we do work with, we are volunteers, but where we can, we will work with you. And I've talked to a couple of people now about possibilities. We can go from really quick intros, like a two hour session, like, um, well, what's this 15 minutes, but it's better to have at least two hours or half a day. Through to treasure hunts, everybody go out and take photos of our region and then upload them. Uh, Editor-thons where we sit down and actually work on articles, certain projects where we might collect all the lighthouses or all the shipwrecks or something like that. And then we have um, situations where a whole organisation or institution will work with us on a high, when we do that with the state libraries in Queensland, Northern Territory, Western Australia and um, New South Wales at the moment. Um, and we also have a really um, high-end exercise which is where somebody employs a Wikipedian in residence and they go and work in the organisation um, for a certain amount of time. Looks like I should stop there, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I think you know, there are ways that you can get involved and I would just say get in touch um, with me, there's a whole lot of these, are a whole lot of the projects that we've been doing in this area. I've mentioned a few of them. Oh, this one towns where you get your Wikipedia articles really up to scratch and then you make these um, special QR codes, put them on your building. So even if you're not open 24 hours a day, if someone who's visiting can scan the code, get to the article in their own language. So you know this will pick up the language of their mobile phone. And um, so that's, get in touch with us and you can um, get, ask whatever you like. Thanks very much for all your time and um, good to see you.